Okay, so on this basis, you think Okriku has failed? Of course. Mm. So they need to change him. Who should be the next coach of the Black Stars? It should be a very experienced coach. Like Chris Uten. Somebody who is li like, yes. But he, he has been with the team um, for some time now. And even at the World Cup. Mm -hmm. And I understand that they have been sharing ideas together. Mm -hmm. So I don't see anything new. Well, maybe yes. he's not a decision maker. Oh, please. Oh, don't, please, I beg you. Maybe he's not a decision no, maker. When, no, well, you see, now you people are saying he's not a decision maker. He should have come out to tell us that he's not a decision maker. Oh, he cannot maker. say that. Uh -huh. But we know that he's technical director. But, but, he's not a decision maker. He, he doesn't have he, to tell when us. When we were saying it, why is it that when I was firing that, you people were saying, no, 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 no. Chris, Boatin, Didi Dramani, they have been helping Utuado. It will be fantastic. That's what they were saying. Now he's not a decision maker. Mm. He is part of this World Cup fiasco. So it will be difficult con considering Chris now. I'm telling you. So who do you have in mind? Oh, somebody like Chris, as you said, very experienced, learned. He knows what he is about. You understand? Discipline. Because if we allow Keto Kweku to appoint a new coach for the Blasters, it will be disaster. We shouldn't allow that. It's the taxpayer's money that we use in paying Blasters coach. So you can't allow Keto Kweku to do that alone. No, it shouldn't be. So we need an experience. Coach. I don't need to mention names. When I give you, I, I come out with, with uh, an experienced coach, you should understand somebody learned, somebody who can be very disciplined and know what he's about. If the person is charging a lot of money, like Javier mm. Renan was charging, should we still go ahead and pay? But by your politicians, the money is that they have been spending in, spending in this country and traveling with the uh, presidential jet or whatever, private jet and so. I mean, the Ghana, we have money. What are you telling me? How much mm -hmm. are we not spending on our MPs and the ministers and whatever, the president? And, I mean, please. But the money we spent just ended with, um, 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 we spent at, um, in Qatar. Uh, we've been up to now. The budget is low out. You understand? We don't know how much that we spent in Qatar. And we are expecting the sports minister to make sure that we know how much that we spend in Qatar, the budget. So we, we have money. We have been spending a lot big. So if we want results, we want good results. Because the, tra the, the president traveled to watch blasters. Mm -hmm. so, yes, the president traveled. Even, so you think that even money African should be... Afcon, the president traveled to watch blasters, opening matches. So that means you have interest. You have interest, you, you have to do it well. You got it. So you have to pay good for a good coach, a good manager, to manage the blasters, to get at the good boys, get them playing good football, apart from winning, apart from bringing back that mentality of winning and winning trophies. Because 40 years now, we can't win African Cup. I've gone. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 is it not a worry? It's, it's a big worry. 40 years None now. None of our players playing were born at the time we last won. 40 years now we can't win African Cup. You understand? So you, when you come in on board with a, a coach, it shouldn't be a trainer scout. You, 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 you take a part-time trainer scout coach with his two assistants part-time to World Cup. They have nothing to lose. As every president, you lead, you lead these charges. And that means you have a big, big, big personal interest. You want to manipulate the coach. You want to be able to, mm -hmm. you know, instruct the coach. Whatever that you want out from the team, that, that is why you want to put that coach there. He forced his way to put Otuado there because he wants to manipulate him. That is what Kent is doing, the every president. And it's a fact. Okay, should Dede Ayu leave the team at this stage? Leave the team for what? As a retired player? Leave, leave the team for what? As a retired he player? He leaves the team in a professional way. That's how, all. How should he live in a professional way? Very professional. What is professional? Tell me. Well, you should also tell me. What is professional? Well, he should we say he has resigned. Should he say he's resigned and leave? Uh, you are forcing him to resign. I'm asking you. Uh, you, you, are, you are the he, football expert. He should be able to tell us if his body is okay. If you feel that is boring, he's playing okay. in Qatar. Regularly. That is why I'm saying that you now you are asking me, I'm not giving you the answer. You are telling me he's playing Qatar. But, okay, so, so you he know he's playing. You know you are telling us. me he should retire. 
Yeah, you but, know but, somebody but is playing who, actively. But those who play, they retire. They what play for club I and retire understand from the what I'm saying that it is it, it, it is up to the day. But you are you an expert looking at the Black Stars and looking at the team we have. Do you think that you will still need experience, one or two experience out there to be able to, you know, <coughs> help the young ones to grow? You still need the experience. Should this be a team captain? Today is not a problem for the team. The day is a workaholic player for the team. Did you ever believe that the day will miss that penalty? Has he ever missed Black Stars penalty? Before? No, from the way he stood, it that was is what I'm saying. Difficult. Oh, please. Please, did you ever believe that the DIU will miss that penalty? No, from the way he stood. From he what you have been seeing from the DIU. No, I mean, the penalty taker was him. And I'm, it's, no, no, has no, he ever missed penalty? For I can't, can't remember how many it's penalties. Hard. Yes, I can't even remember. Mm. You understand? But I'm saying that. Did they sitting on bench or did they starting for the blasters or did they captain the blasters? It depends on you having fantastic technical team. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A good technical team with a good leader. Somebody who is very disciplined, who is learned, good coach experience, who only takes advice then after everything is from, uh, from him, the coach. I hope you understand me. He's yes. in charge. So you're saying that all those decisions so those will things, have to be made by a good and competent a, 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 a coach. A competent coach. If you think the day should be playing 20 minutes or should be playing one hour it's it should be the coach it should be from a very competent board coach when you were a trainer scout how would they accept that you want to bench me when you were a trainer scout he knows very well that you have been forced to you know uh, 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 to be put there or you, you, you somebody interest that is why you are there but looking at ghana 21st century blasters can't be coached by a trainer scout no so, did they are you? How can you, a trainer scout, what is, what is your tactics? Are you suggesting what? that the day are you doesn't respect I, the coach? That is not the issue. <laughs> it can be anything. You are also telling me or asking me that should they retire, should they day somebody who is actively playing football just because he has missed penalty. No, I, I'm not talking about the penalty. I'm talking about his, I mean, what what his contribution you to the team. Be, be, uh, but he's he scored in the opening game. Yeah, but he doesn't play for that. Was, that, that he's, he's not able to play the full uh, I'm saying games. that he scored in the opening game. Yes, he did. So he has been contributing. You will need an experienced coach to be able to do good selection for the blasters, put up good players out there. No, you are making the point machine. that the day himself, so to be able to the day himself may be the thinking team. that why is a trainer scout benching me? Are uh, you uh, suggesting uh, that the day doesn't respect the take, coach? Take take what I'm saying. He respects everybody. The day respects everybody. That but you are all. saying that but you, he may be uh, looking at the situation and say that by you, uh, uh, trainer scout, uh, how are you able to come and when tell players me that are, their best? When players are forcing for Ghana, they are doing their best. They are, they are putting their best out there. They want to do something and you don't have somebody who can read his oppos opposition team or, or his opponent coach to be able to you know, change things to help players. I mean, sometimes you can get tired. You can get off. So you think that whether the day you stays or not depends on the competent technical team. Fantastic. Have you heard about this Abiba matter in the in the camp? Please, let's let's you know, let's move on. Why don't you want to talk about let's that? Move. Why don't you want to talk about that? I'm professional me, let us move on. You don't want to hear about oh, the Abiba the matter. The Lang Langa Bell said that Abiba ever, comes to the please, camp. Please, whatever happened out there in Qatar is what I'm telling you. Our problem. Mm -hmm. Coming home, not performing well, we don't have a coach. We send a trainer scout out there. You understand? And it's a shame to the nation for allowing that care to play good to have his way, to be able to, you know, force his way to put this coach there as blasters coach. No, 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 no. So if we had a so better coach, is, we would have done better. Of course. So please, that matter, forget so it. So Abiba, can't, forget it. Oh, please. You people, you are making... No, they say when she goes to the camp, to, and she's an innocent girl who just goes to make the hair of the players, Charlie. like your fine hair, he can, she can make it for you. Charlie. And she goes to make the hair of the Charlie. players as a job she it's does. It's your coach and, and care to Kretu. Kretu. Simple. Do you know I, Langa Bell? It's your coach and care to Kretu. I don't want to know anybody now. You don't want to know Langa Bell? I don't want to know anybody now. I'm saying that the problem that we face... In Qatar, it's your coach and the FA president. It's simple. You didn't put, or you didn't go with a good coach or with an experienced coach. Somebody who... But the FA, don't they have an executive committee? They do. 
can they prevail upon the president? They are all seeking their, uh, special, their interest. But if the president is seeking his the, interest with the coach, can they also find their interest in there? Of course. Is it not crowded already? The president will satisfy them so that they will not be able to check the president. Put How does he satisfy them? Of course. Oh, you can put in your players also the 1-1 one -one slot or maybe the other national teams. Oh, you can also push in your players there. They are. Oh, they is are, that what happens? Of course, they own players. Mm. They are managing teams. Yeah. You understand? So you and put... So put I, I put my player in Black Stars. You put your player in Star okay. Starless. So, you so, have your player. So you can't check me or you can't, you know, fire me. That's what is going on out there. Uh, so, so, because because of that, what is so because of that, all the executive members mm. think that Baba Rahman is a better footballer than Gideon Mensah. When one million supporters <laughs> who watch the game say that Gideon Mensah is better than Baba Rahman, will the FA executive committee in the boardroom, just them, think that because of that, Baba Rahman is better than Mensah? Is that what you're saying? They call themselves so-called football people. Yes. They, 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 they feel the association belongs to them. So they are football. Well, people. they get elected. So but to, I understand they get, you. They get elected. People so vote for them. That so that if 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 it's a worry to them, they would have at least said something about it. They would have spoken about it at least. Oh, please, what is going on? We can't, you know. I mean, take it. Even about the coach, mm -hmm. they wouldn't have accepted Otuado to be the coach. It will ask how to take us to the World Cup. It tells you that whatever the FA president is doing out there, they are in support of it because they are benefiting from it. They are also benefiting. That is why. Mm -hmm. A lot of money that they spent in Qatar, it has to be investigated. We have to really get a, a, a accountability out of it. That's mm -hmm. why I've, I've been asking and calling on uh, the Auditor General, the Yoko. Hey, what do you want the Auditor General to do? Oh, the, we want to know how much we spend in, uh, at the World Cup. Mm. Minister should tell us the budget, how much we spend at the World Cup. Yeah. Oh, I think he should tell Parliament. He should. Uh, he really it, should. It, it, um, we should be able to, he should be able to, I mean, uh, account for mm. whatever that he spent. Because we played three games. Oh, of course. And we came back. Yes. So was the budget for three games? Was it for quarter final? Mm. Was it for, if there's some left, uh, is the money going back to the Accountant General or the Bank of Ghana? Or is it with the FA for investment into AFCON or, you know, all of that? I see. So your conclusion is that we were let down by our coach. That's your conclusion. Yes, and Ked Ukreku, FA president. You mm. can't only put the blame on the coach because he was appointed by somebody. And so we were let down by Ket and the FA president. No. Okay. Hey. We were let down by Ket and the head coach. And yes. But the ministry appointed the coach, didn't they? They pay the coach, don't they? Oh, please. <laughs> but you are here talking about Chris. We yes. heard that the ministry wanted Chris. The ministry have already Chris. even published that no. Chris was, is going to be the next coach. <laughs> FA has said that they are still looking. <laughs> because he was looking for his interest. Where is the coach now? Which coach? The blast that's good. But what he's gone. He's resigned. Uh, why? Because he says he failed at the World Cup or something. And he says his family wants to be in Germany, something funny like that. Said, Did you hear that, by the way? I, I heard it, you know, of the cuff. Did he say that? Of course. That his family wants to be in Germany. Of course. But he really shouldn't have said that. I don't know why he said that. He shouldn't have said that. He should just thank Ghanaians for... Listen, listen, let me tell you something here. You see, from the one, eh, mm -hmm. the coach never committed himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I'm telling you. From all the things he said. Oh, to the course of Ghana and had nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. You got it. You see, his own old transits uh, supported my point. Too. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it to you. Yes, that he didn't, never really was committed. Of course, he said he and his family, as you are saying, they felt more German than, you know. Yeah, that, I don't know why he said that. Uh, yes, and so why should the FA appoint such a person? When he and his family... The patriotic streak is not there. You understand? Why should the FA appoint such a person? So Kate saw some chance there so that he can be able to manipulate this one. That is why he pushed for that coach. That is all. When somebody sees himself in Germany, not in Ghana, immediately after Uruguay March, I resigned. Yes, he was going all right. But how can you appoint a part-time coach? Knowing very well that after the World Cup, he has nothing to lose. He's going. Hey, such an FA president you are. We are still keeping him here in Ghana. You need to, you need to get him out.
But yeah. we only have to wait for the next election. You need to get this guy to Kleku out. He has failed Ghanaians. He has disgraced you. Yes, he has, he has disgraced Eku uh, Of course, the Why? president <laughs> of the Republic of Ghana. Yeah. He traveled to Cameroon for the opening game. He was at the Afcon, yeah, Afcon, and then he was. He at the traveled game again for Portugal. the opening game in Portugal. He was disgraced. and he saw the referee cheating us. He, he was disgraced by Otuado and Keto. The referee was cheating he, us. You see, you are helping them to continue to misbehave. No, I don't want them to continue to misbehave. You are helping them, but so you are not. You are not identifying it, it, the it, fact that the referee was a problem as well. It, there was no problem. You got it. When mm -hmm. you won against South Korea, the referee was not a problem. No, he was good for us. The, the, there was a handball that he used his discretion to give to us. Okay, he you. was good. He was very Fine. good. So no problem. Mm. I'm still coming to the fact that Keto Preku has disgraced the MPP government, the president, Kufuadu. Why? Mm. Why do you people sit there for Keto Preku to do that to him? I don't, I'm not is sure what the president man? feels that I'm asking, he has been Is he MPP man? I don't know. But so what would, would you do that to a Kufa? I, no, I don't know whether you a would you do that feels, to a Kufa. I don't know whether Kufa feels that Keto Kriku no. has disgraced him. I don't ah, know whether he feels that. Ah, but you, eight years of his tenure, mm -hmm. or let me say his term mm -hmm. as Ghana president. Yes, I pray that God gives him that eight years. He finished it. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This president has been able to. He he's he's been to World Cup. Qualified for one World he's Cup. He's qualified for... He missed the other World Cup, Russia. Yes, but he's qualified for Qatar World Cup. Mm -hmm. He has qualified for AFCON. First, it was AFCON. Mm -hmm. You go out there with all the hopes. Your sports minister, before we were going to AFCON, what did he say? He said, we are going to win the cup. Mm. So the president was in high spirit. He had to travel to... Uh, Cameroon for the mm -hmm. opening match. Mm -hmm. We're beating. We're disgraced. Then also the president traveled for the World Cup. After assuring the president that Ghana will qualify and win the World Cup. That was the assurance he gave to the president. That mm -hmm. Ghana will qualify from the group stage and win the World Cup. So the president traveled to Qatar with a lot of confidence. You saw Kufuadu in pictures, video. In Qatar, didn't you see? Mm -hmm. You saw your man, fantastic, so happy. Then three two. Mm -hmm. Then came one one match. Three, then two. it was like oh, we are there. Hell break loose. We, we are, are there. there. Mohammed Kudus. You understand? Mm -hmm. we, we we instead of staying focused and keeping the team on his toes, very professional to let the coach know that we are not. Yeah, but they said yet. Abiba went there. Please. He, he, he ignore that nonsense. Mm -hmm. Then they, they, they left off guard. Then we lost against Uruguay. And crashed out painfully. Crash out, disgracing the Kufuadu's government. Because of the lot of assurance. A lot of assurances they gave to the president. Mm 